want to welcome everyone today. Today is a happy occasion. Uh, we're here today to commemorate the 192nd anniversary of Greek independence. Um, before we begin today, I wanted just to make uh, uh, one note today. That is, um, the American flag is at half staff, and that's in honor um, of, a, of a local soldier. The governor, Governor Patrick, uh, this week ordered all uh, public, uh, uh, all flags at public buildings to be flown at half staff in honor of uh, Sergeant Michael Bono, who was born in New Bedford, raised in Westport, uh, who served uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, on our nation's behalf, and who last week was killed in a car accident, tragically. And uh, uh, his wake was last night here in New Bedford, and he's to be buried uh, today, I believe. And I, if we could just have a moment of silence for him, um, that would be great. Thank you. All right, thank you, everyone. As I said, today we're here to commemorate the 192nd anniversary of 191st, sorry, Father Bevis, okay. uh, of Greek independence. Uh, the, the, the event that we commemorate is the Greek independence from uh, the Ottoman Empire in 1819. Um, which was a momentous day in the long and glorious history of, of the Greek people. Uh, and it's my pleasure today to honor New Bedford's uh, Greek community uh, with a citation. And uh, just to mention a couple of things. One is that um, uh, the, I'm, I'm not going to uh, opine or offer my, my thoughts on, on uh, the contributions of the Greeks to Western civilization. That's, that's a story that has been long told and that one that we should commemorate from time to time. Um, but I, will, I do want to take a second to honor somebody here today who would care not to be embarrassed, and that's Father Bebas for all of his contributions, not only to the Greek community, but to uh, our city generally and our region generally. Um, Father Bebas has, uh, has been here as part of our community since the 1950s um, when he came here uh, having, having uh, received his, uh, his doctorate in divinity, uh, his master in divinity at Harvard. Um, and uh, he has been a, a staple in, in the community that has changed very much over the years. The Greek community uh, was centered um, for many decades, for generations, in the lower north end. And uh, the community has changed a lot. The physical appearance of that neighborhood has, has changed a lot. And, and of course, over time, the Greek community, as, as other ethnic communities, have been diffused throughout our region and beyond. Uh, but what, what has held uh, the Greek community together uh, over the years is not just the richness of its culture and its dedication to community, but, but this gentleman right here. And uh, he's given so much to our community over the years, not just, again, to the Greek community, but also to the library. He's, he has served on the library board for decades at this point. And, um, again, not to put you on the spot, but you know, the city is really uh, grateful for your financial contribution to the library this year. Father Bevis uh, gave the library $10,000 to, uh, to support its efforts in making, um, making us this, such a richer place. And so I just, uh, again, wanted to thank you for that, Father Bevis. Now, uh, without further ado, let me, let me do this. Let me read the official proclamation that I have here today that I've signed. and. Uh, then we'll go ahead with, um, uh, we have city councilors, uh, Alves, Martin, and Oliveira, who are here to, uh, to say a few words, as well as, uh, as Father Bevis, and then we'll go forward with the flag raising. So let me read the proclamation. It says, uh, whereas the Hellenic people for thousands of years have been the core of Western culture and civilization, and whereas by virtue of a culture that has exalted reason in the pursuit of knowledge, they have advanced the dignity and freedom of man, and whereas the modern, the modern Greece threw off the shackles of oppression and subjugation in her valiant struggle for liberty in the early years of the 19th century, and whereas this year marks the 191st anniversary of the independence of the Greek nation. Now, therefore, I, Jonathan F. Mitchell, Mayor of the City of New Bedford, do hereby proclaim March 23rd, 2012, as Greek Independence Day here in the City of New Bedford in honor of the nation of Greece and Greek Americans and call upon our citizenry to observe this day with the deepest admiration and respect for the nation which has given so much to the world. Dated data this day, March 22nd, 2012. Father Bevis, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you.
Now I just ask Father Bevis to say a few words. Thank you. Virginia. Uh, thank you, Mayor, for your very kind words. I'd like to remind the folks that uh, although we have moved uh, to Dartmouth, uh, the great majority of our community can still live in New Bedford, which are a very indispensable and very important part uh, of the citizenry of our city. We love New Bedford. We are very proud to be residents here. I live in New Bedford myself, and I want to thank you very much, Mr. Mayor and City Councilors, who are here with us, to remind you that it is the 191st anniversary of Greek Independence Day. It was in 1821, where after 400 years of subjugation to the Turks, to the Ottoman Empire, the Greek people, very few of them, uh, rose and fought uh, very valiantly and gained their freedom. It was a, a tremendous, tremendous uh, sacrifice. Many of them died and yet they persevered and gained their freedom and we have the birth of the modern Greek nation. And of course, the Greek flag who has the color, colors of blue, because blue is also the sky and the ocean. As of all of you, some of you might have gone to Greece I probably remember the beautiful blue seas of the Aegean Sea. And of course, why it means the purity, the purity of the intentions of the Greek people to be free uh, in their country. Thank you very much, and God bless you all, and thank you for coming. Thank you, Father Bevis. Um, now, if I could call to the podium City Council President Steve Martins. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell. Um, first, it's an honor to be here uh, with my colleagues, uh, Mayor Mitchell and all of you, in celebrating the 191st uh, anniversary of the independence of Greece and celebrating the, uh, the Greek and American democracy. And I'm also honored uh, to stand here beside all of you as we honor all of you and your great ancestors who were freedom fighters for some who never saw the, uh, the daylight of democracy until that day of March 25th, uh, 1821. And when Greeks uh, stood up that year and said no to the dictator dictatorship and raised the flag. And it was from there, uh, eight years later, it was a long, long battle fight for independence. And because of the great relationship that, uh, that Greece had with the United States, they ended up um, beating all odds, and Greece won its uh, liber uh, liberation in 1829. And it's no surprise to you that I am from the Portuguese culture, but there's no difference in knowing that every year when we hold these types of press conferences and raise the flag, that we will rely on the next generation and generations from there to ensure that this day is a storytelling, that we ensure that we educate everyone how we came here, how our ancestors came here, and the battle that we got here. And that is the same message I tell my family members uh, when we go to different events in the Portuguese culture, and this is no difference when we're here today and relying on that generation to make sure that from years from now that we celebrate the 200th and the 3rd and the 300th anniversary, that that storytelling of the independence of the Greece culture uh, Greek culture is continuing here in the city of New Bedford and I'm proud to stand here with all of you and share that storytelling and, and be in celebration with that. So thank you. Uh, with that said, I do want to uh, introduce my colleagues on the council who are here today, uh, Councilor Alves, uh, Councilor at Large, and Ward 1 City Councilor Jim Oliveira. They both will uh, come to the podium and present a citation on behalf of the Mayor and the City Council. Before we uh, present that citation, I'd just like to say that uh, the many uh, great achievements have been uh, uh, taken place here in the city of New Bedford, uh, due mainly to the, um, the Greek culture that has been brought here by the immigrants and, and how they've helped develop the economy here in New Bedford. Uh, growing up, I had a number of, of, of good Greek friends. The uh, the Didopoulos family, the That's Athens right. family, That's right. and uh, uh, they've all gone on to do great things, uh, both uh, 
here in the city and beyond. And uh, I believe that my uh, younger brother was uh, quite friendly with your son, Stephen. Yeah. So uh, we have a connection to the Greeks, <laughs> uh, even though I am an Oliveira. And uh, that said, uh, I wish them uh, a wonderful an anniversary here today and uh, look forward to many more to come. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here this morning. And I guess the only thing I can say that I'm proud of with the Greeks is over 20 years I've been friends with Father Beavis. And to me, that's the best honor I could be paid to have a friend of that caliber and that character uh, you know, that I can call a friend. And, you know, the Greek church was only a couple of blocks from where I, w where I was raised in the North End of New Bedford. And I felt sad when it closed because they were moving to Dartmouth. They were moving out of New Bedford. But in talking to many of my friends within the Greek community, the church may be located in Dartmouth, but the heart of the Greek community is still here in New Bedford, where many of them live and where many of them have their businesses. I want to say thank you to all of you. And on behalf of the City Council and the City of New Bedford, we have an official resolution. And Father Bebus, it reads as such, the New Bedford City Council official resolution. Be it hereby known to all that the City Council of New Bedford, Massachusetts, hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to Greek Independence Day in recognition of the ceremony that commemorates the anniversary of Greek Declaration of Independence. The entire citizenry wishes, extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses the hope for continued good fortune. Given this 25th day of March 2012, signed by the Council President Steve Martins, by Councilor Oliver from Ward 1, given by myself, Councilor Alves, Councilor at Large, with the best wishes of the City of New Bedford, the Mayor Mitchell, and all of us. Thank Congratulations. You. We look Thank forward to seeing you many, many more years here. Anybody wants a few words? They will uh, sign in today. <laughs> That's quite all right. It's okay. quite all right. Well, with that, uh, let us proceed to the playing of the national anthems of Greece and the United States. Listen, thank you very much uh, you. for attending today. Um, please join us in the Ashley Room for refreshments. Uh, Father Bebis promised baklava today, so uh, let's see if he <laughs> came you? through. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> have to he wait. baked it himself. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.